Well, hello everybody. It's Donnie. Diamond painting by Donnie. And today I am doing a drill with me. But it's kind of like a setup and drill since I'm working on getting this kit set up. And then we will drill. The biggest part of this is just labeling the containers. Yeah, they look like they're all the same color because it's just a bunch of shades of blue. But I do have a tag here to fill out. I don't have really any updates to give you because I've basically been updating as I go along in my other videos that I've been doing. So it's really strange to not have an unboxing to do since uh, I've received everything so far. I mean, I still have stuff out there, but surprisingly, um, I haven't gotten any diamond paintings in the mail. Well, today is Sunday. <laughs> that might explain why I didn't get anything today. Oh boy. But I didn't get anything yesterday either, so... All right, so this is this is a um, tag that Danielle from Stitcherista tagged me in a while back, but I've held on to it because I was planning on doing it. I just have never, it took me forever to get my last tag done. It took me three videos to do it. And I know uh, somebody else just did this. And I know who it is. It's on the tip of my tongue. I've just got brain fog right now. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you who it is when I... Allison Rosen. There you go. I'm sorry, Allison. I know your name. It just... Yeah. Anyway. So that's... She just... I Well, she did it probably a month ago. <laughs> and I'm just catching up on her videos. And I just watched her... Um, drill with me or her um, organize with me video where she did this same one so if you're wondering what I'm doing here um, I use double-sided adhesive that I mean now that I'm feeling it it's not really that sticky it's the glue dots brand this is what it looks like and I bought this mainly for my um, DMC color chart to stick the drills to but I thought I'd try putting it on here but as soon as I went to put this back in here the paper started coming up and ah, it's even doing it there I didn't get the whole thing so I'm, I'm putting scotch tape over it so that it will not do that because who knows how long it's going to take me to do this project all right, and, and I did a foolish thing and I cut. <laughs> don't ask me why. I don't know. Like I said, I've got brain fog. I'm still getting over this sickness that is just, it's causing me to do things I normally don't do, like not think. So I'm putting them on in order of uh, numbers. I do my numbers first and then I do letters and then I do symbols it just it makes it easier for me to find them when it comes time. But right now, I am cutting. I have a piece of scotch tape down here that I am taking and cutting little pieces off to cover up the pieces I already tried putting on with the double-sided adhesive. And I failed, so I will not. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Just keep trying. Okay, here's another one. Now I don't think I need to do all of them. I think since these last two don't go in, I don't have to do the last two. So I'll just do this one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pull off a piece of tape because it's really loud. I wish this microphone had a mute button or something on it so I didn't have to here, I'll just pause the video while I pull the tape out because you don't want to hear it. Be right back. All right, so let's get started. My first question on this um, tag is, have you ever smoked? 
As a matter of fact, I have, which I've talked about that in another video. I started smoking when I was 16. And I quit when I was 37. So that was eight years ago. Eight years in June. I quit smoking. Um, let's see. It was the day we came home from our uh, summer, va our vacation that we went on down to California because I knew it would have been horrible trying to quit smoking on the trip or shortly before it. So I did it. At that point, I used the patch and I went through this cessation program through um, my husband's work where they paid for it. They paid for the patches and you talk to a counselor and yada, yada, yada. I quit smoking and I got like $600 for our health savings account for doing it. And that, um, so I, I smoked for, why is that shaking? 21 years. I have to count. Because I messed up on doing this. I gotta make sure I get the right numbers to the right letter. <laughs> this is just so uh, crazy the way I'm doing this. So yeah, but then a few years ago, um, I'd say 2000. 14 maybe. Yeah, I guess it's been four years ago. I, I, I started um, vaping, you know, uh, not because it's just because I, I missed having that oral fixation. And, you know, there's so many unknowns about vaping. That, you know, you get so many different people making so many different comments and advice and this and that and about vaping. But I know the difference on how I feel when I'm vaping versus how I felt when I was smoking. You know, when I, when I smoked, there's no way I could have vaped when I was sick, for one thing. There's just no way. My lungs hurt from when I, when I'd smoke. So, and every morning I would have, I couldn't take a deep breath. You know, there, there, anyway, that's just not something I'm going to get into right now. I don't even know why I'm still talking about it. <laughs> I gave the answer. Okay. So the next question is. Let me get my B out of here. Uh, what is your favorite flavor? And I've heard, I've heard a few people now doing this tag. So, oh, I hope that was, yeah, 996. Good. And I actually got a chance to think about it. And I am able to tell you that my favorite flavor is cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Cinnamon. I mean, the, I mean, I love the taste of it. I love the smell of it. I love the flavor of it. And that is my go-to um, when, ah, there's questions. More questions. Like um, my favorite flavor to, for my, for vaping is it's called Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah. It's CTC. Obviously, they can't use um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch because that's trademarked. But CTC is short for Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I guess. But that's what they call Their name for it is CTC. CTC. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, I... I like the cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's like my favorite, even though I don't eat it because of uh, all the sugar. <laughs> and let's see. 
yeah anyway flavor as far as you know for like my creamer i my flavors my tastes i should say change and i will do like one specific creamer for years and then um i just get tired of it or something new comes out i try it and i like that better so it's just one of those things that people's tastes change and I don't know how long if I'm gonna be able to go through all of these questions because there's like 35 and I do have to get up at 7 with Tesla tomorrow she is going back to school but I wanted to do this oh that reminds me here right here is the first um spotlight photo of someone from the group the facebook group who one of their finished diamond paintings and here it is So I am posting these and I, I'm not telling you ahead of time who else is going to be in it or how many I'm going to post. So you never know, your diamond painting might show up. And my next question on the tag, I know I was talking about something and oh how I need to go to bed at a decent time. I'll probably end up not even starting this diamond painting. I'll probably do all these. This is going to take me forever putting these on here like this because I messed up. But I want to at least get these put on and the drills put in the bag. I don't know how long this is going to take, but what's really weird is this bag of drills. This does not seem like it's going to be enough for this diamond painting because it's, um, I think it's a 30 by, four yeah, it's a 30 by 40 and I don't know, it might be, but this is the one I'm doing right here. If you watched my um, review on the light pad, this is the one that I was using to give, uh, test out the light pad with. So you can see now why there's so many blues. Okay, um, next question, do you get nervous before doctor visits? No, because, you know, I don't have anything to be nervous about, just... I'm just apprehensive of going, you know, some because most of the time the only doctor appointment I go to is my yearly and I get my physical once a year and I go to, I have my own, um, uh, you know, OBGYN that I go to for the yearly. I don't do it at the, at my, um, primary care physician because I have been seeing this other guy since I was pregnant with Ayla, which now that I mention it is her birthday is today. She is 26 years old. <sighs> yeah, the 21st, which this probably won't go up. I'm going to put this up probably tomorrow on the 22nd. So, but her birthday was yesterday. If this is the 22nd. <laughs> yeah. And I still don't feel like I have a 26 year old. I mean, I definitely don't feel like I have a 24 year old because Stephanie doesn't always act like she's 24. I mean, she's responsible and has a job and has a car and all that, but she, she has some growing up to do. I mean, she does live at home still. That's not the reason why I say that it's just anyway <laughs> it, it, she, it still feels like she's a teenager though and I don't I mean other than my body falling apart I don't feel old, old as old as I am I mean people will say you're not old you know but you know 40 I'm gonna be 46 in 11 days so that's that's really that's not old but it's just hard to believe that I have a 26-year-old and a three-year-old grandson. 
So, anyway. Tangent. Okay, I'm I'm make I'm getting my little numbers here because there's the numbers are separated from the uh, symbols. So I've got to be very careful to keep them separated. Got to keep them separated. I don't even know that song. I just know that part of it. I don't even know what song it is. Okay, so that's the percent. I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm doing down here. All you can see is this purple. But you know I've been into purple lately. I don't know why, but you know purple was my favorite color growing up when I was in high school at least. And, you know, I got into liking the teal color as I got older. And now that I'm doing these diamond paintings, I'm back into liking purples and along with the, you know, teals and pinks. Because seeing all these drills, these diamonds, with the different shades that they have, it's like, really appeasing to my eye. Uh, so these things are really hold, hard to hold on to. Okay, there's a K. I could always reference the paper if I need to. Um, if I lose, there it is. If I lose something or uh, drop it or something happens to where everything gets mixed up. I don't want to have to. I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible. Even though, you know, this is part of the fun of diamond painting is this process. Some people may not think so, but from the senses I, census I get, the people that I, you know, hear and talk about, they enjoy everything there is to do with diamond painting including the setup process and that including myself yeah but sometimes you're just into a big project and you're just so tired of it and you want to move on to something new and and then you just kind of feel like blah towards the end of it you just wish it would get over with and and sometimes people don't even finish it <laughs> they move on to the next one before finishing it but the only reason I'm doing this one, I'll tell you, is because this is one that um, the store sent to me. And the person that had contacted me about getting, you know, sending about sending it to me and everything, they're in the group. And they've actually been checking in on me every so often, seeing if I got it done. <laughs> and it's like, no, not yet. I've got six others that I'm doing right now. And then that she's like, okay, well, I'm waiting on you. I mean, I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be keeping you know, basically telling me they're, <laughs> they're not going to leave me alone until I do it. And I was, I couldn't remember what the painting looked like. Um, static is making these papers move. And I was thinking, oh, well, that shouldn't be too bad. It, it's a, you know, probably a, a round partial. Nope. It is a full square. Is it square? Yeah. It's a full square. So, so much for it being a living room project. I seem to just do the uh, round partials or the rounds period in the living room. I don't know why. Just strange that way. But ma mainly because they don't take as long. All right, let's see what's the next question. I still have a stuffed up nose, but I can smell um, someone's burning their fireplace, but I don't think any of the buildings are... Oh, we do have like some farms behind us that I'm sure they have fireplaces. Yeah, that's probably who's doing it. There's a, like a house behind um, behind us, actually, that has a big lot. And they're probably burning in their fireplace. Anyway, next question. Amelie number four. What is the one thing you dislike about yourself? 
one thing. Okay. One thing I dislike about myself. That's really not a, a very positive question. I don't like to focus on things about myself that I don't like. I mean, yeah, it's good to be aware of the things that you need to change. But to say I don't like something about myself, you know, I think that's a little much. Because <laughs> I don't really dislike anything about myself. I'm not conceited either. I'm just saying... Uh, I mean, yeah, I have my faults and I need, it, I need to work on things, but those things make up who I am. So if I don't like myself or something about myself, then how am I going to be able to like other people or treat other people the way I would treat myself? You know, that's, that's just how I see things. So I'm going to actually... Um, not answer that question because that just goes against how I feel. All right. Well, the next question now. Five. What is your middle name? Well, my middle name is Marie. But you can't use my middle name unless you're using it with my, 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 uh, full first name because Donnie Marie does not sound great. I mean, I was made fun of so much in my life. As a kid, Donnie and Marie. But then I got to being more proud about it. I'm just like, yeah, well, that is my middle name after all. It's what I end up telling people, you know, because they were making fun of me, Donnie me and Marie. I was like, okay, yeah, what about it? That is my middle name, you know, but uh, my first name is Donetta. And Donetta Marie goes better than Donnie Marie. So, there. That's the long answer as to what my middle name is. Hold on. Let's see. After G, I need to do I because there's no H. All right. So, the next question is, uh, name three thoughts at this moment. Well, one thought is, why isn't there an H? Because, was that on top or the bottom? Now I gotta check. Uh, I should have probably just stayed concentrating. Let me just look this. I actually my I got a new printer because my other one um, the print heads were busted, and I like it because you can blow things up. I mean, look at the numbers here. This is what they normally would look like, and I blew them up. Yeah, I just thought that was neat. 3363 three, is the I. Okay. Um, so, yeah. One thought is why didn't they have H? That's a symbol that they use all the time, I think, if I can remember. But, it, but I, and I do like that they have um, the majority of their uh, symbols on here are numbers and letters because there's quite a bit of letters and then they've got the um the common punctuation sorts of stuff excuse me and i just realized i forgot the nine the nine is still over here and i think that's a zero not a no well i can make it <laughs> now what am I going to do? Because this is going to throw me off. Um, I can continue with the letters on this. And then I can put the 9 and then the 0 here. And then put other symbols here. Okay, so that's another one of my thoughts. How am I going to organize this? That's mainly what I'm thinking is what I'm doing. Because if I don't think about it, I will mess something up because of the fact that I cut the paper, these strips off completely, not thinking about... There was a huge gap between them because I blew it up. So I felt like, 
you know, oh, okay, I'll just cut them all the way up to the top and just leave it hanging there. It it didn't work. <laughs> I should have just cut um, the outside edge. No, see, that's not even... I don't even know. See, I can't even think as to what I should have done. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's already done with. Okay, there's no J, but there is K. And the other thought is... Well, now that I'm being made to think about something... I gotta think about what I'm gonna, what clothes I'm gonna put put out for uh, Tesla to wear tomorrow. So that means I've got to check the weather to make sure if she's gonna wear a long sleeve or a short sleeve. I'll take two off. And this one's gonna be the one. Okay. Number seven, tag three people to complete this. Now, I think Brandy already did this one. So, I can't exactly, I could tag her, but if she's already done it, that's not really um, tagging someone. Okay, let's see. Some of these people, I don't even know if everybody watches me. Um, it's basically the same few people every time, so I'm trying to think of somebody. Oh, I'll have to come back to that because there are a few people I want to tag, but I like to tag Diggy, but... I know she's done a few tags and I've been watching her videos. I just don't know if she's done this tag or not. So Diggy45, if you haven't done this tag, I um, tag you to do it. And I will put the link to it down below. It is on um, Danielle's uh, Dropbox. I think she puts the link up there for things that are public for her drop in her Dropbox. Or, um, let's see who else. Uh, I don't want to have to sit here thinking about it too long. Um, so I can be answering other questions because Diggy likes doing um, tags though. And I know there's other people that like doing them too. I just can't remember. Like I said, I will um, actually find a couple people and I don't know how I'm going to let you know. I mean, I'm just going to um, nominate Diggy. And if anyone else wants to do it, they can do it. How's that? Because I am just brain fogged. Really apologize. Next question. I'm moving on. Uh, do you own slippers? Well, here's the thing. My slippers are basically s these socks with grippies on the bottom. So I guess that's considered slippers. I don't have any, you know slippers that I could like walk outside in um I have uh, the last slipper type thing I bought was these this four pack of they're called house socks but I have worn them in public inside my shoes so um that's what I'm wearing now they're comfortable, even though they twist and stuff. And that's the one thing I don't like about wearing socks in the house. But they keep my feet warm. And that's the whole goal. I would like to find another pair of slippers that I could wear that would be really comfy for me to just never take off my feet. And I could wear them outside and to the store and whatever. 
<laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd wear them to the store, but probably not because if it's cold enough to wear slippers, it's probably raining outside. And unless I had some of those that are like garden slippers where they have the rubber soles that come up the sides a little ways and then they're nice and fuzzy on the inside. My mom had a pair. I don't know if I got them. Hmm. I don't know. Well, let's see. That is it for the uh, letters. I have the zero here, but I'm going to put that on here next to the nine and zero, and then I'll put more symbols here. Now I just got to figure out which symbols I want to put next to what. Okay, we'll do the plus, minus, and equals. No. I'll put... I'll put parenthesis and a slash. Yeah. It just makes it easier for me to remember where things are. When I have them next to each other. I actually did that with my Hade. Um, I had everything in order of DMC number. And then I went and I was having a hard time because I was spending so much time just searching for my next color because there's 90 colors in in that kit so ooh, i don't want to get it backwards it goes like this so i ended up rearranging them by uh numbers then letters then um punctuation arrows which different direction arrows and then a circle circle type symbols you know things like that so Made it a lot easier to find things. And then I started whipping them through. Being able to find everything. So, Alright, that was the slipper question. What color shirt are you wearing right now? I am wearing a purple shirt. It almost matches this. See? Almost matches. Purple. Purple. And number 10, what songs do you sing in the shower? I don't sing in the shower. I just clean and get out. I don't know why. I mean, I know people sing in the shower because of the acoustics and all, but I basically have to take really quick showers. Um, most of the time because I take well not now that you know summer's over and Tessa's in school but with her being in home having to take a shower I mean she doesn't get into things much and she will hang out with me right there in the bathroom but I still sometimes she will try to get into things like she'll try standing on the she'll try standing on the toilet to look out the bathroom window and you know that can get dangerous well it is dangerous oh which reminds me the other day I, I warned her and warned her and warned her and told her not to do it over and over and over again and it finally happened she took her let's see she has my husband's old iphone it's a, like an iphone 4 I think and it's great that's one thing I can say about um, iPhones is they last a long time and they have um, yeah they have longevity to them and so she she just watches her YouTube YouTube kids on it and um, and she just she takes it everywhere with her and I told her, don't take it in the bathroom. Get, put it down. Don't have it with you while you're on the toilet. And, of course, she doesn't listen. And she dropped it in the toilet. And this was right before she got sick. So, imagine her. But, I mean, it was fine because of the fact... I mean, what was fine was that we stuck it in rice. Even though my husband... Um, he um, wanted to hurry and get it in the rice that he wasn't thinking, and he just took it and 
dropped it into our canister with the rice in it instead of taking enough rice out to submerge the for the phone to submerge into he just put it in the, the huge five pound container of rice and we, we you know we buy jasmine rice so it's a little bit more expensive and I had it <laughs> it's just like one of those things but we kept it in overnight and we pulled it out after about a day and a half because she was asking him for her phone. Pulled it out and it would turn on and it would play, but you could still hear water in the um, speaker. So we had to stick it back in for another day and a half and now it's fine. Now if that was an Android phone or another brand phone or whatever, I don't know that that would have worked because I have not had it work. I haven't had very good luck doing it with an Android phone. Um, but Stephanie actually, when we were in Vegas one year, oh no, she set her phone down outside of the shower and the shower curtain wasn't closed all the way. And she ended up soaking her phone. Her phone was just sitting there in a puddle of water. And the rice thing worked on that. So let's see. The dollar sign is 208. Okay. And the zero is 210. All right. That works. Just had to make sure. And so. Tesla learned that lesson early, I guess. I mean, it's been a great uh, thing to have that, that phone because now we do these programs where we turn our phone in and get, we do a, um, a lease thing. So you can um, get the new, new, the new one, new version every year. Um, but you have to turn in your old phone because that's basically you paying for paying for the uh, the second year of your contract is you know because you didn't pay for what did it, okay you pay for your phone on payments for two years now if you upgrade after a year you still owe a year so instead of having to pay the full price for the phone for another year's worth of payments, you sent, give them the phone back and they basically call it a wash. Now, I mean, that's basically just like renting a phone or leasing a phone. But if you wanted to go the full two years, you could get to keep it. And my husband's last phone, he... For, he broke it by smashing it with his belt buckle accidentally. He pulled his belt off by the, the, not the end with the buckle, but he pulled it off and he pulled it. I don't know how he, you managed that. And then, it, but his belt buckle, he was still had a hold of the belt and he went and pulled it out. And in the buckle itself, the bu buckle part, he just hit his phone right where the, the button is, where the fingerprint reader goes. So that was the end of that. We tried getting his screen fixed at, at one of those places at the mall, paid like $130. And then it was causing problems that it wasn't work. I mean, there was a lot of features of the phone that wouldn't work after he doing that. And he took it back to them several different times for them to refix it and refix it and refix it. And it was actually in uh, one of the Apple updates that was causing um, anybody who had a non-OEM um, phone, the original manufacturer phone uh, screen, this problem. So it was basically like a Trojan horse that Apple did. But I guess they fixed it. But anyway, he, his screen never worked the same. 
So, of course, when he gets his mindset on wanting something, he'll end up getting it. He found the, my exact phone that I have, and it was going on sale. Something about... He pays a lot less per month than I do. Let's put it that way. And But we had to pay like $130 right at the beginning. So I didn't understand that. Oh, I think that was because he... Yeah, because he replaced his phone before the one, even one year was up because of the smash screen. So, yeah. Oh, look, everything's separated now, and I can... I don't have to do any more cutting. But what symbol do I want to do next? Okay, let's do the equal sign. Minus plus equals. And then I'll do... Um... I don't know. I'm going to do 939 last. I'm going to do the question mark, the percent. Percent can go next to the ampersand. The dollar sign can go next to the percent sign. Asterisk. And less than or more than, whichever one that is. And... Wait a minute. So we're going to put over here the question mark and the ampersand. That'll be the ones that are left on here. Oh, this static is kind of annoying. All right. I do get a lot of static in these containers, I did notice. Oh, man, I've been talking and talking and talking. Here is another person who is being displayed from our group. They're, they're completed diamond painting. Here, take a look. So. All right. Next question. Favorite girl's name. You know, that's. When you have kids, you can't really say you have a favorite name, per se, because, you know, I really loved Ayla, that name. That's That was my favorite name, and I was able to name my oldest daughter, name that my oldest daughter, and I was happy because I got to do that. And I'm going to pause real quick because I need to pull out some more tape, and I don't want you to hear it. Okay, so my favorite boy's name, um, ah, I don't have a favorite boy's name because, I mean, I do love the name Hayden. Don't tell my husband though, because that was my second husband's middle name. I don't know if he knows that, but no, he, he doesn't watch his videos anyway, but if he did, he'd know. Um, I don't love the name because it was his name. I just always like that name. It's, it's just a name I like. So, there we go. Um, what is your... What's in your pocket right now? Nothing. Lint, maybe. I'm in my sweatpants that I lounge around in that I got from Disneyland. I love these sweatpants. They're not really sweatpants, though, either. I mean, they're, they're really, really thin. So, I mean, I don't know if they'd be considered sweatpants, but they're not jeans and they're not like yoga pants or anything but they're really comfy and I love them and that's one thing I'm I'm happy about the weather warming up or cooling down because I can wear them now more often I mean I got them in the summertime at Disneyland well it was it wasn't summer it was March when we went so that's probably why they had sweatpants I don't know if they have sweatpants or items like this all year round but 
I'm glad they had them because there's not much in the in the way of stuff that would fit me. I mean, yeah, I could if they had, you know, the some of the bigger sizes in, in certain things. But it's not like I could go up to a rack and say, oh, I'm a large. Let me find a large. Because... Yeah, but they, they do make some larger size clothing there, and these pants were one of them, and I was so happy mm -hmm. because pants are just not something I normally shop for or find, like, off the rack at Disneyland. Okay, this is just... <laughs> I messed this up. I did this thinking that, oh, yeah, and I can continue on with the rest of the letters but so here i've got my numbers going up to zero um two through two through ten i guess and then i have some of my symbols here and then i have my alphabet that goes all the way to here and then these last two are symbols too okay it's not gonna be as organized as i hope but it works it whatever i'm not going to make a big deal out of it. I'll just have to remember where they're at. That's all. Okay, my next question is uh, best toy as a child? Uh, well, I didn't have a lot of toys as a child, but one thing my dad got me one Christmas and I was, you know, I, I wanted a Barbie dream house. You know, back in, um, this would have been 1980. And, because that's the year my brother was born. It was either, yeah, it had to have been 80 because we didn't live in that house very long. Yeah. Because I remember the pictures, I have pictures of our, our Christmas that year. And, anyway, my dad got me this um, Better Homes and Garden dollhouse. It's, uh, I don't know. It was supposed to have been a really nice dollhouse. I mean, it, it was plastic. It wasn't, but it had to be put together. And he, I mean, he, my dad, I don't know. He, he likes dollhouses because he, he actually got one for the girls at his house that he put together one of those really nice ones with the electricity and the miniature furniture and stuff like that that you can get um at hobby lobby yeah he got one and he put it together he put the wallpaper on and put all the little furnitures i don't know if he put any had to build anything like that but you know doing the electric he likes doing that kind of stuff and he bought that for me and put all the wallpaper up and all the stickers. Well, the stickers is basically what that one was. And excuse me. Um, and I, I do remember, I loved that thing and it had a little mommy and a daddy and a little boy and a little girl. And, um, the little boy, little boy was a baby and it had the bed and, uh, and then you could add on um, rooms, not rooms themselves, but furniture for the rooms. And later I got a bathroom set. I was so excited to have that bathroom. And, uh, uh, one day I wanted my fam, my family was ready to move. So I took it all apart and I put it, put it in, um, I took everything off of the, out of the house and I put them all in this green duffel bag thing that I I won from Girl Scouts or brownies, whatever I was in back when I was like five, six. And um, put all the furniture in there. And then I even took all the whole dollhouse apart because that's the kind of thing I like to do is to take things apart and put them back together. But I got in trouble. I got in trouble for taking that apart because apparently um, I wasn't treating it right or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, 
when you're a kid like that, you don't know the value of things and how how you could really damage something by doing that. I even took the chimney off. I mean, it, it went all the way down the side of the building, but you, you could pop it out. I figured out how to do all that kind of stuff, and I did it. So now I'm going to start opening packages and put, putting them in here. I'll start with these numbers here. So that was my best toy as a kid. That and the Spirograph. Alright. Oh, because these aren't in order. Alright, here we go. 939. Um, who is your loudest friend? Well, don't. I know it's not Karen. She's very quiet. Um, I can honestly say the loudest friend, my loudest friend is Melissa. I mean, she may not be loud now, but I highly doubt that she's any different. <laughs> she's, she moved away. She lives in another state now. So I only get to talk to her in, um, text messaging, you know, so I don't actually talk to her voice. But she was always loud. But, you know, her and I actually were quite loud together. <laughs> we, we were quite a pair. We both met, um, we met each other when we were both working at this uh, telemarketing place. I was really good at telemarketing. That was like my go-to job. And... Um, Yeah, we, we hit it off really well, and then um, we got together, found out that we both got married, had gotten married um, really close together. We had both just gotten married. I got married August 20, um, yeah, August 21st. I'm not sure what her, the date was that she got married, they got married, but yeah. We went and, um, but we started hanging out together and then her husband became best friends with my husband and, oh boy, did they get into a lot of trouble together. Most of the trouble they got into was with us because they, mm, those men, I tell you. Ooh, anyway, all right, so 3837 and 388. Okay, 3837 is the only one I have on this row. There's not very much of this color. Oh. Ouch. Make sure I don't lose any because there's like 10 of them. How many dogs do you have? I have one dog, and that's because I basically inherited it from my mother. I didn't, I kind of wanted to keep it because, keep her, it is a girl, because I wanted to keep the peace of my mom. I mean, it just brings back memories. I, I can see my mom with her in her lap and holding her and letting her outside and all that kind of stuff, so. I couldn't see her going to somebody else. And she was a sweet dog, so. Um, here is another featured diamond painting from somebody in our group. Take a look. And the next question is, does someone trust you? Well, you know, that is such a silly question because it's like if people didn't trust me, they wouldn't watch me on this channel. I mean, I'm guessing people trust me to an extent that I'm showing them the proper thing. They're showing them what I bought and telling them the pr price that I really paid for it, you know, and 
you know, I always say that you always start out trusting somebody until they give you reason not to. So that is how I feel. Okay, I'm looking for 803 and lower. So those are going to be in this bag, strip of bags. And of course, my kids trust me. My husband better trust me because I've never given him reason not to. Well, he's never said anything about not trusting me, so I don't see that see that as a problem. And my family trusts me, my friends. I mean, I'm very trustworthy. Um, I am like one of the <laughs> straightest shooters you'd ever met. I don't have any tickets. I have no... I don't have a record. I don't have... Um, I don't even have a speeding ticket. Not like I want one, but it's just... You know, that's my answer. Oh, excuse me. I need to get this cold just needs to go away. I hope this microphone isn't picking up this bag crinkling. There's static in this one. It doesn't want to come off my fingers. Uh, yeah, I'm, after I'm done recording this, I'm, I'm not even going to transfer it off of my phone I'm gonna go straight to bed it's either gonna be when I'm done putting these in or when I finish these questions whichever comes first so we are on number oh 18 what book are you reading at the moment okay I just finished a book so I'm not reading one right now but 794 I'm thinking of reading um, Catch-22. That's one of the library books I have checked out. I did read it in um, high school, but I have no idea. I don't remember what it was about. Or was it Catcher in the Rye? I don't remember. See, I don't remember. But I've been trying to read these the, the classics. You know, I read um, Slaughterhouse Five. I read um, uh, Breakfast of Champions and some other Kurt Vonnegut. And I read um, Lord of the Flies. This is all within the last. Well, since I started this channel, I've read all those. But I just read through all the Harry Potter books. I had read them um, with th the hardbound, bo the hard books, uh, the physical books, up through. I was on five. I never finished five because I was having a hard time getting through it. And then I tried st tried to start reading the series again because that's what happens when I get to a series and I come to a stop. Years later, I'll try reading it again, and I didn't get very far. I'm, I'm, I have this picture version of the books. Um, they have like, there's three of them right now. Two, three. Yeah, there's three now. And I'm reading it to Tesla and she likes me reading it, but it's such a long read and she won't go to sleep if I'm reading it because she keeps asking me questions. But anyway, um, so I got all the books on audiobook. Well, I didn't get them. I, I checked them out from the library and I got them all read. And I'm glad I did. I mean, the, I've seen the movies, but my husband said something about um, a fight scene being better in the book, but I don't remember it being better. The, the book, I think the movies, I think the movies did the books justice. They, because they were so long and... They put a lot of the stuff in there that was in the books. You know, there wasn't too much that I didn't um, remember seeing in the movies. I do need to reread, uh, rewatch the movies now, though, because I like to do that after I've read the books. Yay, this one's done. Um, so, yeah, either Catch-22 or I'm going to read Sleeping Beauties, which is a, a book that Stephen King wrote with his son, um, Owen King. 
All right, so let me just flip these up. Those two, 3860 and 3363. Three, three. Find them. 3860, three, eight, three, eight, yeah. Okay, I'll get to the next question. Cut this. Um, what's your favorite candy? Oh. I don't eat much candy, but if it's a candy bar, Twix is my favorite, or um, Heath. Heath. Oh my gosh, I love Heath. I love that um, brittle. Oh, what is it called? Toffee. Brittle toffee, I guess it's called. I don't know, but that that is my favorite candy bar ever. And... But I do like Snickers and Twix. And 100 Grand. Those are good too. And the only time I ever eat those is around Halloween time when Tesla comes back with too much candy. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite sports team? Well, the only sports team I watch is um, college football. And I watch the Oregon Ducks. Because that's my team. Yep, yep. Got to represent. 3363. Three, three. Okay. And my favorite month. Well, you know, most people would say their birthday month. And if I were going to say that, that would be November. And my birthday is on the 1st. So it's right the day after Halloween. But I have to say... Um, December, because that's the month that Teslin was born in, although she wasn't supposed to be born until April. And so it makes the month of December very special because to me it represents life. Um, not every situation that we were in turns out the way ours did with her surviving and thriving I mean her issues are her lungs and her you know her her vision and her vision's not really bad it's actually improving but those are the two things that um are obvious when people you know well the, the asthma isn't obvious but you know the the vision part is and that's that's the only thing you can see she has some issues with um developmental but they're not bad she's actually in with the with the other kids in her class so it's not to the point where she has to be in special classes um but that's why december is special to me i mean so it's my favorite month um i, I all the months that my kids are born in are, you know, special. April and October as well. But, um, you never really appreciate, I mean, some people don't really appreciate, you know, being able to just have a kid. I mean, when I had Ayla, I was the most normal pregnancy ever. I didn't have gestational diabetes. I didn't have morning sickness. I was overdue, so the worst thing about it was that I was overdue. I didn't even have to get induced. They, you know, made uh, 10 days overdue, and they let me just go into labor naturally, and finally did, and um, after that, you know, it was like I had a miscarriage, and then the next month I got pregnant with Tess, with Stephanie, and she was breech. So they ended up um, doing a cesarean on her about a month early. So, she well, she was about three weeks early. So they took her three weeks early. And um, and then after that, you know, the next time I got pregnant, I had a miscarriage. And then the next time I got pregnant after that, she was born too early. She was born um, at... Um, 
just about 23 weeks. It was 22 weeks, six days. That's how, how pregnant I was with her. And, um, I went into premature labor and she was born and lived for two hours. And then I didn't, um, get pregnant again until I got pregnant with Tess, with Teslin. And I had, there were issues that I had during the pregnancy that I thought I was going to lose her. But that, well, we'll save that for another day. You know, I don't know where I got off on this, but yeah. Plus there's, um, you know, Christmas, even though I, I, it's, the holiday is really um, commercialized and it, it makes for really um, good sales, but it also makes for bad traffic and um, just some people just, they don't get into the holiday spirit and they just have, they have the opposite, it has the opposite effect on them that, you know, it's, or it's just, it's too much about rush, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme. And with Tesla, it's really hard since her birthday is nine days before Christmas. We have to um, try and separate her birthday from her, from Christmas. It's so hard too because it's like, oh, wait for your birthday. Oh, wait, wait for Christmas. That's nine days later kind of thing. I mean, we are going to do something this year. Um, like... A week and a half before her birthday something like that so we had to actually plan it this far out because last year my dad couldn't go because he does this thing with his church and he's like the he runs it he directs this uh pageant sort of thing i don't know so this year i talked to him ahead of time and found out what day he has that he can come at, because it's an hour and a half drive for him for them to come up here and vice versa, if we want to go down there. And uh, last year we didn't even do a party. Because it was just, we never just never planned anything. I don't know why. But we used to, um, it's hard, it's sad to say used to. Because ever since her third birthday, and we were going to make this a tradition every year. Um, we were going to make her birthday special on her birthday day because we never had her party we never have her party on her birthday um we would take her to toys r us and you know she's part she had was part of jeffrey's birthday club and we would um she'd get her crown and they'd announce that it was her birthday over the loudspeaker and and um She'd get a balloon and they would tell her that if you see her, tell her happy birthday. And it just made her feel really special. And she'd get to go pick out her own gift. You know, um, this last last time we did it, which was this last year, she picked something that was like $10. And I'm like, baby, you can pick out something more. You, you can pick out more. And things were on sale and this and that. So she kept picking like these really low prices. Because we normally, get you know, let her pick $50 worth of toys for her birthday that's just standard basically now and so anyway we can't do that anymore and so we have to find another tradition to try and make up for her um here's one more person that is featured from my group here you go And I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to finish this because it's already one o'clock in the morning. I have to be up in six hours. So I think I'm going to just finish this QB here and then I'm going to put this away. Um, I'll answer a couple more. Let's see. Number 22. What would the name of your boat be? Oh, my boat. I'm going to stop real quick because I think it's going to cut me off. Well, it's going to make a new clip and I don't want it to cut me off mid-sentence. As far as a boat, um, 
I would name it Summer Rain because that was my little girl's name. Yep. The name is Summer Rain and Rain is spelled R-A-Y-N-E. That's what her name is. And um, yeah, I thought it was just the best name, you know, for, I couldn't take Teslin at the time because I wanted to name her Teslin way back then. I wanted to name my girl Teslin, but my friend Rose was pregnant also. Didn't know if she was having a girl or a boy. And she was, she's the one that I heard the name from. She's the one that um, said she liked that name. And I had totally forgot because she had said it a while back. And um, so when I was telling her what names I wanted to, um, was thinking of for my, for a girl. And I said that and she says, no, that's the one I was going to do. Remember? You know, and I'm like, okay. All right, I understand. Yeah, sure. So we'll find another game name. And so that's been her name that she has had held on to for a girl. And when she had that baby, it was a boy. And then years later, she had another boy. And then I got pregnant with Teslin and I asked her, I said, um, are you going to have any more kids? Or do you want me to... Um, because I still, I still want a Teslin. And she said, nope, I'm done. And uh, so I, I got to name her Teslin. But anyway, the, she had ended up having another baby um, this year, actually, in February. And she had another boy. So it's a good thing that Teslin was... Uh, given to a worthy child, uh, but Summer, it was a second second choice for her name, and I I really like it. I really did. When when um, we decided on that name, we um, had done a lot of thinking, so it was appropriate, and that is what I would name my boat <laughs> if I were ever to have a boat. Get me a dinghy, name it. Tesla, or not Tesla, <laughs> Summer Rain. Okay, guys, I am going to cut. Yeah, this clip's only like two minutes, three minutes so far. <laughs> and here I have beads that I dropped because of the, the static. And I don't know if it's one color or two colors. It's two different colors. I'm going to stick them here and see how long they stay. And just stick them in here. Um... I'm going to leave this the way it is because I will come back to it in the morning and finish up. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about me that, um, or had some, enjoyed spending some time with me while I try and get this thing. I didn't think it would take me this long, but it was all, labeling all these things took forever. I was hoping it wouldn't take as long because I thought I had that brilliant idea of putting the double-sided adhesive on there but it, that was a bust so anyway i'm gonna leave it here and I, I don't know why i even put everything back in the bag uh yeah so maybe i'll get packages tomorrow and i'll have another um unboxing to do i'm i'm tired and that's frustrating me so so we will see so as far as a question of the day, I did not prepare myself and think of what question to ask. So give me one second. I'm going to pause while I think. My, my phone's getting hot and it didn't want to start recording again. But seeing how I am I'm doing this uh, tag, I'm going to take one of the questions from here and ask you guys. So I have chosen to ask, and I forgot which one I was going to ask. Um, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to ask you, what is your favorite flavor? Favorite flavor. At least you have some time to think about that because you did hear it asked of me earlier in this video. So now you can tell me what your favorite flavor is, and I'm really interested to read 
what everyone says because I do read these comments. I read every single comment that you guys have written so far answering these questions. So comment down below what your favorite flavor is and hit that like button and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye guys.